This is the LEGO City 60406 race car and car carrier truck. It released on January 1st, 2024 and retails for $24.99. But as you can see, I only paid $19.98 because I bought it from Game here in the UK and they had it on sale day one release, which was pretty surprising. So I kind of snapped that up and I earned double reward points from Game, which turned into vouchers. So I ended up getting more LEGO for even cheaper, which is great. And first off, I think this set looks really good, just with the colours and everything. It's a little bit out there, isn't it? It's quite futuristic and then also retro at the same time with the colour scheme and then the whole kind of style of the truck, especially the front of the cab here. Very different to LEGO City's usual stuff. The car is kind of typical of some LEGO City race cars. And then on the back just shows you that, oh look, the bed of the truck can lower down so you can drive the car up there. Although, I mean, look at that, it's really scraping, isn't it, <laughs> to get out there. It's quite steep. But I guess we'll test that for ourselves once I build it. And of course, two minifigures. You can pop the minifigure in the car. One in the car, one in the truck. As simple as that. Let's open the box and see what's inside. Ta-da! Okay, so we have bag number two. And bag one. And bag three. For a minute there, I thought it was just going to be two bags. Oh, that'd be a small set. And we have our two instruction booklets. One for the truck. And one for the car, so you can build this with another person. Makes sense. And the sticker sheet. Wow, there's a lot of stickers on here. Interesting. Because I noticed some LEGO City sets and some LEGO sets in general, they've had more prints, or things you'd expect to be a sticker and now a print. But looks like there's a lot of uh, stickers in here. That's too bad, but I don't mind it. And I guess, ultimately, they're optional, right? You can choose whether you want to have these or not. And I would say, judging by the look of it, you know, sure, they add some extra details, but you might not need to use them all if you don't want to. All right, then. But it looks like the first thing we're going to build is the car. So let's give it a crack. And of course, if you're buying Lego sets these days, don't forget to scan your QR codes to earn 20 VOP points. I mean, insider points, but you know what I mean, right? It's totally free. Just scan it with the Lego Builder app and then it adds to your account. Perfect, right? So let's clear this up and get building the car. OK, so I've just finished building the car. Nice little build, pretty straightforward. It didn't take me too long to put together. Yeah, my quick thoughts are that I like it, actually. It's surprisingly good in the details and things. I think the roof and the back bit here should have been black, just to kind of keep it a bit more consistent. I feel like the grey stands out a little too much. But I did have one slight problem. Because if I turn it round... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Here we go. Oh, yes, you see that lovely scratch on the wheel arch there? Yeah, that that's not like a bit of... I don't know, it's not coming off. It's, it's just scratched, so... um. Don't know what's going on there with the quality control logo, but, you know, not good enough. And look at that. You can just also see the mould marking on the other piece by as well. It looks like it's just been snapped off the sprue. Gee, Lego, need to improve these things. But with the car out of the way, it's time to build the truck. Here is the set all finished and built now. Everything is complete. And here are the spare parts. Nothing too exciting. Just usual standard stuff. We've got two minifigures. If we take a look at these first, move the car out of the way. And, of course, the car driver, she gets a spare hairpiece and the helmet, so she can go in between whether she's racing or not. Truck driver here. <laughs> I don't really know what to make of it. I mean, you know, no disrespect if you're in this industry, but he's just older than what I expected him to be. I don't know, like, he, the head and the hat don't match the outfit, but that's just my opinion. <laughs> you know, no disrespect if, you, if you're into that, but that's just me. No alternate faces or anything on these guys. And then if you look back at the car... If, you know, looking at it to begin with, it looks pretty standard for some Lego City race cars in recent years. You know, six wide, one minifigure. I mean, I kind of talked about this already. Do like the design, as I said. Looks pretty sporty. And, yeah, I mean, these headlights here, they're, ye they're yellow, but they kind of look, you know, neon green almost because they're on the dark teal turquoise colour shining through there. Yeah, some... Slightly different building techniques, some studs on the side, but nothing too complicated, went together pretty quickly. The truck itself impressed me more now that I built it in person, and I mean, not like I'm going to be doing this much, but it's so smooth rolling on these wheels. It's so satisfying <laughs> with the tyres and everything, and speaking of the wheels, these wheel covers here, absolutely love them. I haven't seen these before, I'm guessing they probably use them for speed champions, but one thing I'd like to see LEGO do... Maybe Speed Champions is the answer here, but white wall tyres. Because I want them to for a Back to the Future mark, long story. But, yes, if they put these covers on, please bring out white wall tyres. They just clip onto regular wheels, if I can take one off. So, yeah, 
as you can see, regular wheel there, just clips on, anti-stud, goes on, that's what the wheel looks like underneath. But yeah, I want these in multiple designs, different colours, please Lego, please do it. And the whole thing is very smooth, very tiled off, although I feel like this gap here looks a little bit awkward to me. That I'm not against, you know, I don't mind if studs showing or anything, but I feel like this looks a little bit unfinished with given how tiled off the rest of it is, you know. They could have slapped something on there. I just feel like they could have done that. Like, even if it was just like another slope piece, maybe, or something, just... Yeah, yeah it's not terrible. You know, it works. Look at that like, little spoiler on there and everything. Like, this truck means business. It's quite heavy, too. It's very built up. There's a lot packed in there. I was a bit unsure about the design on the front, because I wasn't sure if I liked it, but I do. <laughs> now that I have it built up and everything, you can only fit one minifigure in there. Pretty standard stuff. And you build up the roof... No standard, just one piece for it. And it's just held on with these two studs there. Not even a coffee mug, though. I guess he's too cool for coffee. But it does clip on nicely. And, of course, you've got the flatbed, which can fit the car, but barely, just barely. <laughs> I mean, you know, it hooks on. I don't know if I can line it up properly. The car hooks on perfectly. It's not really going to fall off or anything, but I'm not a fan of how close it is to the edge. I feel like the flatbed needs to be at least two studs longer. Then it would overhang the truck a bit more. So maybe the truck itself needed to be a bit longer. <laughs> you think even with the spoiler, how much is sticking off at the edge? Like, it's fine, but, you know, it's an easy mod to make. Just work on an extra 2 by 6 and clip it in there. Which I, I might do. I'm not that desperate for it to be longer, but if I was designing this, I would think, hmm, yeah, I need to just kind of add that on a little bit because, yeah. But these kind of pyramid cheese slope pieces here, they just hook on the car perfectly so they're not gonna fall off anywhere that's fine but there is one awkward thing so remember how i noticed that the car was practically scraping the floor as it was trying to get onto the bed of the truck well that's pretty much exactly what happens although it's not even as easy as it looks to get to this stage that's because not only is the bed at way too steep of an angle for the car to even drive up it it can't drive up it look at it it just hits it's just not gonna, it's not, you know, it's not gonna happen. So let's just say, all oh, right, it gets a bit of a, let's pretend it gets up a bit. Okay, well now it's stuck on the first bumper, so it can't go past that. Now, can you hear this? The car is scraping against the table, trying to get on here. And then even then, oh, there we go. So now it locks into place, but yeah, you might have to use a little bit of imagination if you want this thing to actually work. But now it's time to talk about value. So this set has a retail price of $24.99. As you can see, I paid $19.98. Go back about five years ago, a set like this probably would have been about £18. So paying £20 in 2024 is okay, I feel. I do think it's worth it. Let's say this and one minifigure would be one of those LEGO City £9 sets. Okay? I mean, so that's that. And then the truck. Is this £11? Well, it's definitely more than the car, you, with the terms of parts and everything you get. So let's say this is probably one of the 13, 49 or 12, 49 sets. Add those together and you get pretty close to the retail price. And you're, you're in between the sale price and the retail price there. So, yeah, I do think it's worth it. You know, again, if you can get it on a discount for 20% off or even more, I think you're onto a winner here. It's a great build. I'm proud of LEGO for trying something different with this. I like it. It works. And yeah, that's so satisfying to roll, isn't it? Too bad that the car can't quite get onto the flatbed, but either kids who are playing with this aren't going to care. They're just going to pick it up anyway. Or if you're an adult displaying this, that's not going to matter to you either. Overall, yeah, I do recommend the set. It was a fun build. Let me know. You planning to pick up this set? Do you have it already? Tell me in the comments, and I'll see you all next time for another LEGO review. Bye for now. Thank you very much for watching, if you enjoyed this video don't forget to check out the other videos on this channel or on one of my other channels as well and of course don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share with your friends.